<laughs> Hold on, you look so like surprised. Look at me. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Happy. Now, this is gonna be my first time build. Uh, the first time I'm gonna build a computer. This is the first computer for myself that I'm actually building. Um, it's gonna be awesome. I hope that you stick around for it. Um, in case you guys haven't built a computer before, I'm gonna talk you through it. I'm gonna try to tell you exactly everything, how to do it, and everything. Um, we're gonna build an AMD system, okay? Not an Intel system. There's a difference between the two. So, the system we're building is roughly around a thousand to a thousand five hundred dollars, depending on what components you have. It's uh, uh, roughly a thousand to a thousand five hundred dollars. This is an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. You can easily go for the 3700 and save a couple of more bucks. But since this one was on sale, I picked it up. And this one was $269.99. Uh, for that, I actually got four sticks of RGB RAM. These are basically eight gigs uh, times two each. And they run around 3200 megahertz. Um, Ryzen does uh, require like a lot of memory, so like really fast memory at that. So 3600 would be even better, but 3200 is okay. So you can get away with that. So I got 32, but you can get away with 16. All right. Uh, this is the most expensive thing out of everything. This is the GeForce Ventus Super. All right. This thing costs that much. Okay, right now, so I'm buying it. It may cost more in the future, it may cost less, but as of right now, the MSI Ventus Graphics GeForce 2060 Super is that much. Uh, this Obviously, the 2070 and the 2080 Ti are the most expensive things right now, but this one is that much. You could get away with a smaller graphics card, but that's a really good graphics card. I had a problem getting the board. Um, I had an X570 before, and the problem with that board is that it will catch on fire. So be careful, don't get the X570 Pro 4, because that board will literally catch on fire. Your whole system will burn, your Ryzen 7 will burn, everything. So this is what everybody else says that I should get. The ROG Strix B450F Gaming Motherboard. This is a really good motherboard, it's good for overclocking, and they're gonna be a B550 but by the time this comes out probably, so. I will hold up for the B550, but for now, B450 is pretty good. All right, then this is just a mouse and keyboard. That doesn't matter, really. And here I got some RGB fans for the rest of it. This, uh, when we get to the case, I'll explain how it already has RGB fans. But these are extra fans that basically I ended up getting to put in for the rest of the things. I got a 650 bronze 80 plus motherboard right here with the RGB fan. Uh, that's around 80 bucks. It wasn't too bad. Not bad at all. And I got here. This is basically uh, the Hyper 212 Evo. And that sits on top of the Ryzen, right? But I'm not going to be able to use it right now because I'm probably going to be saving it for the B550. When the B550 comes out, I'm going to buy that board. And I'm going to replace it for my B450. And I'm going to put that in. And I have a Funko Pop here that's going to go. I love Kingdom Hearts, as you guys know. So that's going to go inside of this system right here. And finally, the most important part is the case where everything is going to go in. And for here, I got this beautiful ICUE case. Now, there's another one that's cheaper than this, actually. And it has mesh right here in the front. And it's better, technically. And it's cheaper. So if you guys want to get that, by all means. But I just... I saw this all lit up and everything, I fell in love with it, so I had to get it. It also has a magnetic top, see? This is magnetic. And it has two USBs here. Uh, thing for your thing, your, I think for your thing. Uh, uh, this is for your headphones, right there. This is for your mic. This is for the on and off button. So yeah, this is basically everything that I'm gonna do, so. Hopefully you stick around, you check me out on how to the motherboard. That's usually where you start off with. This is the motherboard again. The B450 motherboard, ROG STRS. I'm gonna pop it out. And you wanna use the same box, right? 
the same box, the one they used to put it on top. All right, don't pop that out. Be careful. There it is. It's a beauty. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the processor. So I'm gonna open up the processor. Right. Okay, I could use a knife. Oh, okay. there you go. Open up the processor. You should also take with this one. There you go. And this is the fan for the processor. Ooh, it's pretty heavy. It's heavier than the other one. And this is the processor itself. See, that's the processor, that little thing. All right, so I'm gonna open it up. And if it's a lot heavier than you would think. You see this little handle right here? You're gonna pull it to the side and up, right? And you want it all the way over here. You don't want it like that. You want it all the way up, right? Then you're gonna line it up, right? I'll show you. Okay, you're gonna look at your processor and you're gonna look for the triangle right here. You see how there's a little triangle right there? Like there's a little piece of gold. You're gonna line that up with the triangle on your motherboard, which is, I believe right there, right? There. right? Does that look like a little triangle? Oh no, it's the, ah, this is a tricky one. The triangle is actually up here, if you look at it. See, can you zoom in there? You see, it's a little triangle right there. So that means you gotta put it like this. Let's face it towards over there. And boop, you saw how it dropped into place? That's what you want. Not like this, right? You see how it's up? You want it to drop right into place. So, boom, see how it dropped? Okay, good. Now you grab your little lever and you push it down and that's it, secure in there, okay? Then you're gonna grab your fan that came with your processor. Look, it's a nice fan. Ooh, yeah. This is a big boy, look at this. All right, and in this case, you don't have to do much. In some cases, you will have to remove that thing over there. But in this case, it should just pop right in. So you're gonna go to once, okay, does it have the paste already? Yeah, this comes with the paste already, as you can tell at the bottom of the fan. It already comes with the paste. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go to one side of the fan, right? And you see how there's like a little gap right there, right? You're gonna make sure that it kind of falls in, right? See right here, right? And then you're gonna go to the other side. See how the, it has like a little lever here? I'm gonna pull up that lever. And you want it to basically go in on this side. Okay, go in on this side. Mm-hmm. There it's in there. Alright. And then when you get to this side, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna reach down and basically make it go right in there. Right? So it's gonna go in here. Right in here. Oh, there it is, right? So now it's in there, and now you're gonna pull this up. So you're gonna push it, all right, you see how that's like that? This little lever, you're gonna push it, it almost, it's gonna feel like it's almost gonna break, but no, you want it to go like that until it's safely secure in there, right? So now you're in here, you're in here, and that's tight! That mother truck is tight right there, look at that! Mm. So <laughs> you want to grab your little wire here, right? 
You want to go under like this and to make it look nice, you want to push it in here in this spot right here. Okay, this is for your fence right here. All right, see, one, two, three, four. And there you have one, two, three, four here. So you want it to, well, it's actually this one. See, because that little, you see the little square right on top of it? That little square is going to go right in here. So I'm going to push it in just like this. Bop! Right in there. All right, and then this wire that's like all dangly like that, you just want to push it under like under here. You don't want it to be like all up in the way. Right? Or what I do sometimes, right? It's a little trick, right? This is a little trick that not a lot of people know. I think I pull this crap. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pull this out. All right, what I do is I just make a little knot. Like this. All right? Make a little knot. And then I push it in there. Boop. And now I kind of just hide it there. See? So now it looks clean. Ah! Ah, okay. <laughs> now that we got that in there, we're gonna do the next easy thing, which is the RAM, okay? Again, this is 16 gigs. If you have 16 gigs, I'm gonna show you how to put it on. Okay, so if you have 16 gigs, right, of RAM, what you wanna do is, hopefully all of this fits, because if it don't, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> yeah, because this stick, this is a thickness. I'm nervous. <laughs> That's a pretty big RAM. So hopefully it fits. All right. So we're gonna open up the RAM. All right. And if you have again 16 gigs or two eight gigs sticks or two four gig sticks, you don't want to put it in the first and the second. You want to put it in the Second slot, which is this one, all right? And you want to line it up, right? So, see, it doesn't go that way because the thing is all the way over here. It's supposed to be over here. So it goes the opposite way. I'm going to put it in like this. And you want to slide it in between, right? And then this is the part that always freaks me out. But you heard a snap? Once it snaps in, that's a good sign. So again, if you only have 16 gigs, this is what your RAM is gonna look like. The other one, again, line it up, not this way, this way. All right, pull this out. I'm gonna put it right in there, right in the spot, right in this spot too. All right, right in the foot, right in there, and then make sure it snaps. Napkin. It is what it is. It is what it is. Beautiful. That is literally one of the hardest things to do. What are these? Hmm. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen these before. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's go and toss it to the side. So now you got to clean up a little bit. All right. And now we're going to put three fans, two up here and one here. And these are going to be exhaust fans because this is bringing the air in and these are going to be blowing the air out. So, how about these? There's a lot of parts. Yeah, yeah, there is. So the good thing about this is that it has a fan control. So you want to grab the thing from your fans. See, this one. There's three of them. This one from the back. And you want to make this look as good as possible. So let's do it. I'm going to put this one too. Look very nice. So I'm going to grab them. And to the same hole. Why are you shaking? What's going on? I'm trying to make it look cool. Guys, and 
luckily for us, this already has an IO shield, so you don't have to worry about that. What you gotta do is slide it right in her. So you're gonna go right, oh, that's tight. That is a tight motherboard. Wow, that's, that almost pushing me. And at the bottom, you'll see that there's already like little things that are black right there. I don't know if you can see that. But you're gonna put screws to that. All right, let's see if we can get this in here. Yep, just like that. Are you sure you need screws? Yep. Right there. And I'm gonna put the first screw in. Hmm. I don't think they said the right screws. Oh yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Like, you no, know, it's just kind of rotating a lot, so I don't think this is the right screw. I'm gonna try the other ones. Could put like a sad taste there. <gasps> I remember that I'll never forget when we were playing Frozen. Like, I was <laughs> saying, saying. Yeah, I, I can I can say like when I spent time with you, I had a better childhood. My mom I had a pretty good childhood, I could say, I guess. I have to be positive, so. <laughs> Hold on, you look so like surprised. Look at me. <laughs> you saw what happened, right? Is the fans are too big? No, look. What? What? The, the fan cable went through here. Oh! I got to take out the fan cable. Oh! Get wrecked. I just realized as I was making this movie that I didn't have an ending for it because I didn't technically show you guys the full computer so here it is here's the computer on after everything the only problem i had was with that fan not turning on the only reason why that fan is not turning on is because i needed a three splitter to one i'm gonna get that in this week so that will be rotating and here's the computer itself as you can tell still needs some cable management um i got the video card in there uh, that wire that you see right there is one of my um, hard drives that I got to take out. So once those cables come in, the 3 to one cables, I'll be cable managing a little bit better. But other than that, everything's been going okay, except for that fan. The fan has been giving me a lot of problems. I may end up replacing it. But other than that, I hope that you guys did like this video. 
It's going to be um, a good video, I hope. <laughs> Even though I didn't get a chance to show you guys uh, the rest of it. Cable management, especially cable management, is the worst part of this whole entire build. So I wish that I could show you guys that. Uh, but yeah, that's all, guys. I hope that you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel and stay happy. Ratata. Have a nice day. Turn the fucking bass up. Niggas envy, uh. Blinky got the stiffy, uh. 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 Niggas envy, uh. Blinky got the stiffy, uh.